The Adventure of Luna and the Dreamy Forest Asterisk Once upon a time Asterisk in a cozy little house at the edge of a magical forest Asterisk lived a K-I-N-D Asterisk H-E-A-R-T-E-D girl named Luna. Every night, as the stars twinkled in the sky, Jin Luna would close her eyes and drift into a world of dreams. One evening, as Luna fell asleep, she found herself in a lush, shimmering forest filled with sparkling fireflies. This was no ordinary forest, it was the dreamy forest where dreams and magic came to life. As she wandered through the forest, Jin Luna met a friendly owl named Oliver who wore a tiny blue scarf. Welcome Luna, who did Oliver we've been waiting for you? Tonight and we have a special adventure. Luna's eyes sparkled with excitement and Oliver guided her to a glistening pond, where the water was like liquid stardust. This pond is enchanted. It shows us our dreams and the adventures they hold. Luna peered into the pond and saw a beautiful castle made of candy and gumdrops. Can we visit it? She asked. Of course, then Oliver said with a hoot, with a flutter of his wings. He led Luna to a rainbow bridge that appeared across the pond. Together, they walked over the rainbow, each step making a sweet melody. As they reached the candy castle, they were greeted by Princess Poppy. A kind princess with a crown made of lollipops welcome to my castle. Luna Dian tonight we would you like to join us? The castle Dian's dining hall was filled with tables of delicious treats, cotton candy clouds, chocolate fountains and cake towers. Luna and Princess Poppy chatted about their favorite dreams and played games with the castle. As friendly inhabitants like gummy bears and marshmallow bunnies. After the F.E.A.S.T. it was time for a special event stargazing. The castle had a big, comfy telescope that shows stars twinkling in patterns forming shapes of magical creatures and fantastic lands. As Luna looked through the telescope she saw the constellation of a brave knight and a gentle dragon. Symbols of courage and kindness these are the stars of the dreamy forest. Princess Poppy explained, we can always find our way with courage and kindness. It was time to say goodbye Oliver flew Luna back to her cozy bed, where she found herself gently waking up in her room softly lit by the morning sun. Luna smiled remembering her magical adventure in the dreamy forest as she got ready for the day. She knew that every night, with a little imagination, she could return to that enchanted place. And so, with each new night Luna drifted off to sleep with a heart full of wonder, knowing that her dreams held endless adventures.